Right now at five, the wait ends for some South Florida seniors. I'm very excited. I think I will be with health and I can fly and I can do my, my thing that I want to be. But others face frustration with a slow distribution process. Our supply uh, is limited uh, and we ask that you, you bear with Jackson. They're working very hard and they're doing a really good job. Tonight, CBS 4 News team coverage of the race to vaccinate. Senior citizens in Miami-Dade County could be just hours away from being able to register for vaccination appointments in Miami-Dade. Jackson Health System says thousands of appointments will be available daily. CBS 4's Peter Dench begins our team coverage on the race to vaccinate live from JMH. Peter. Lauren, we're finding out that the new website, jacksonhealth.org, will be up and running as of 11 tomorrow morning, announcing availability of vaccinations for those 65 years and older. Meanwhile, Governor Ron DeSantis toured one of the sites here at the hospital, and he announced new plans to, to expand vaccination sites statewide. He's optimistic about progress being made some four weeks into the vaccinations. Governor DeSantis gets a first-hand look at those 65 years and older receiving vaccines at Jackson Memorial Hospital and then announces that many COVID-19 test sites statewide will be turned into vaccine sites. I've directed our Department of Emergency Management to work with the Department of Health to identify state-run COVID-19 testing sites that can be converted into vaccine sites. And so these would be sites that would be able to vaccinate a significant number of people on a daily basis. Churches and underserved communities will be used for vaccine sites as well. But the state of Florida will be identifying places of worship in underserved communities where we can administer the vaccine. We already piloted the idea at a church in Escambia County, and it was a great success. More nurses are being hired to help out as well. I've directed the Division of Emergency Management to immediately uh, execute the contracts that we had, the options uh, to hire a thousand additional contract nurses to support the vaccination efforts. The state will also expand vaccinations at long-term health care facilities. Fourth and finally, I'm directing the state emergency response team to assume additional responsibilities readministering vaccines in Florida's nearly 4,000 long-term care facilities. Jackson Memorial Hospital CEO Carlos Magoya announced a new website, jacksonhealth.org, that will be online tomorrow to announce details about three different locations. The intent is to uh, vaccinate 14,000 people a week, which is the current allocation we have from the uh, from the uh, from the state, uh, and uh, we're very very proud of uh, being able to do that. Now, Mugoya said he hopes that Jackson Memorial Hospital will eventually be able to help up to 65,000 people a week needing a vaccinations or 65 years and older. Eventually. He hopes that the hospital system will help 60% of the population in Miami-Dade in an age group. Meanwhile, DeSantis says he hopes to see the expanded vaccination sites open seven days a week. We're live in Miami, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.